He's patiently waiting for us to finish. Hi, Muta. If you jump down, I'm gonna, no. Hey, I built that for you. There's catnip on the floor. I spilled it in here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That was cute. Oh, I need you to hang another thing up. I quit. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you so much for watching our past video. If you didn't watch it, you need to go watch it. Then you'll understand why we're filming this video. Uh, what is this video, babe? Well, we got a cat last week, and now we're gonna be building a cat haven in my office. Haven. Be dope. I don't know how we got the cat. I, I mean, it, it was confusing. If you wanna know that whole story, go watch the other video. We just want this kitty to feel super at home and just melt right into our family. We gotta Your go to home. I'm talking. <laughs> we gotta go to Home Depot, get our supplies, and we're gonna go back to my house yeah. and build it. And build it. We're gonna show you how to make your very own DIY on a budget. Let's go! Cat hit it. It's oh, free! Shoot, is the camera okay? I hope it's okay. Guys, we're now at the Home Depot, as I like to call it the Home D Bro, because I'm a bro. Guys, we have actually a secret entrance to the Home Depot, so guys, check this out. We're at Home Depot, guys. That is our secret entrance. So we need to get a couple things. We gotta get some wood, and then we gotta get some Wait, we're going support the wrong way. brackets. We are going the wrong way, you're right. First we need this wood. So I need two two by eights. Yeah. Now we need some screws. We need some carpet, because we wanna put carpet on the top. Drywall anchors, and we need supports. So you're gonna need about 14 of these, because we're doing, what, three shelves, and then two long shelves. 14 for $1.60. Okay, babe, load up. I'm gonna go sit in the car. I'm just kidding, babe. Can you hurry up? I'm hot. Babe, stop. <laughs> it's Jeffrey. No, no, no. Guys, now we're gonna go to Five and Below, which is a pet store. We're gonna get some fun little things for the cat to play on. On his little... A budget. Cat things on a budget. What? What's wrong with that? Okay, so we have everything from five and below, and uh, we're gonna go home and start decorating the kitty room. Woo! Hi, kitty. Okay guys, so we finally have all of the things that we need to transform the room into Muta's kitty room. Um, his name's Muta, M-U-T-A. And that just means ferocious, big, kinda bold cat. I think it's Japanese. Anyways, so we're gonna get started on that and uh, stay tuned to see how it comes out. There he is, my handsome man. I don't think you could hear that. Jeffrey, did you hear me screaming at you? Well, I heard something, but I just ignored it. What are we doing out here? I'm cutting the wood so we can have our shelving for the, the cat, mm. the kitty cat shelving. Okay, well, so we're gonna start on the room transformation. I'm currently hanging the shelf, so I'm, I'm actually marking where I need to make drills. Guys, the first shelf is officially hung. It's gonna go all the way up the wall. There's gonna be a ramp and it's gonna go above my desk. It's gonna be pretty sweet and we're gonna deck it, deck it out with some LEDs that change colors and maybe some other fun cat stuff. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. So just measuring out <laughs> the yoga mat. So you're making this top of the wood so it gives the cat grip. So this is gonna go on top, it's gonna nail it in. Looks good, babe. Thanks. Babe. You gotta make three of these that are fun and half and make that line straight otherwise my OCD is gonna kill me. It's literally so easy. Just tapping them in with the nails. It looks so good. This actually does look really good. Good job, babe. This is your idea. Genius. Look at my genius, genius wife right here. Thanks, babe. Look who decided to show up. He's like, what are you doing? You making me something? Yeah, yeah. Guys, shelf two is now up. We're gonna put one right in the middle so they can hop and hop to the top. Look at him, he's like, what is this? Five minutes later. Guys, so far, Kitty likes it. Look at him, we have three steps here and he's like chilling <laughs> like a villain. He's so cute. It like fits him perfectly. I love you, kitty cat. <laughs> Guys, the next piece to put on is this ramp here. It's basically gonna look like this and it's gonna go to a higher shelf. You're gonna have lots to explore, kitty. Ow! 
auch. Und hier ist Snack Break. A few minutes later. It's cold. We have Capri Suns? Yes. Looking good, babe. Guys, so I have to put this final piece of wood on and uh, we'll be done. And then on to the fun part. We're gonna decorate it and make it epic. So what I'm gonna do now is paint on here with some chalk paint. It's a little bit of cute decals and something fun. What are you doing? I'm finishing up these brackets on this final shelf and then I'm gonna hang it up. This is gonna be the hardest one because of how long and how heavy it is. <coughs> I'm gonna need your help for it actually when I'm ready. Okay. How's your painting come along, babe? Well, I'm using a makeup brush. Good idea. Guys, I finally got this hung up. It was a pain in the butt, but hey, you know a what? A pain in the butt. The cat is gonna have an epic time. He's patiently waiting for us to finish. Hi, Muta. Do you want your, your thing to be done? So she's doing a second layer of paint, and then it should be done, right? Yeah. Very good. And then we have all this super cute decor, and that's what I'm really excited about. Nice and cute, making this look like a true cat cave, huh? Yeah. We are ready to decorate. We just need to do a quick straightening up on the room. We have the shelves up, we have the paint drying. We're gonna clear all this out. Cannot wait, uh, let's go. So now we have to put all of our stuff that we bought and decorate the room with it. So Jillian is the master of decoration, so I'm just gonna watch her do it. Nice little that? rug, nice little pillows. Oh, I need you to hang another thing up. I quit. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't know what cat doesn't like chasing butterflies. Ooh, that's a perfect spot. Yeah. Push it in. Uh, there we go. Is it in? That looks good, babe. This is a cat mat, but his food dishes are gonna go on here. So this is, is this gonna be where he eats and drinks most of the time? Yeah. Look at Max. <laughs> Hi, Max. <laughs> nice little cat mat. This is very colorful. Very good. I'm gonna fill it up with kitty food. He will always have food. Always. Nice. Very, very good. He Guys, check it. this out. We have a water fountain for his water. Oh, it Ooh. has even little stones. Little stones? This is so cute. It needs batteries, though. Yep, looks like two AA batteries. I'll go grab some. Batteries? Batteries? Batteries. Check out these batteries. Jeffafa always comes prepared. Hi, you, you happy with your little setup here? This is all for you, Muta. Let me try to put water in quick. I'm gonna go get some water. This little fountain. I keep spilling it. That's pretty epic. Freaking dope. All right, Moose, so this is your food and water spot. He's currently eating. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. All right, what's next, babe? His bed. Maybe I can go over there. And then this for his toys. Little toy basket. Very good. And then, of course, we need something for him to scratch because he's been scratching on my couch lately. You little jerk. He comes with some catnip. So she's putting some catnip on the scratcher. Oh, look at it. He's like, what is that? It smells so good. So hopefully he starts to scratch that instead of my couch. There's catnip on the floor. He spilled it right here. Oops. Yummy, yummy, yummy to my tummy. Oh, he's laying in it. Aww. He's rubbing around in the catnip. That was cute. This is the cutest cat ever. All right, now we just gotta put him up on the shelves and see if he starts to explore. Look at him. He's like enjoying the catnip. All right, cat, I'm gonna put you on a shelf. You better use it, because I worked hard on this. If he doesn't use my cat shelves that I built, I'm gonna be triggered. All right, cat, you gotta look at this. Come up here. If you jump down, I'm gonna, no. Hey, I built that for you. Guys, we're gonna, we're gonna put him up on top of our thing and see how he likes it. Give me a cat. How is it, huh? I think he likes it. <laughs> Honestly, that's pretty dope. That is really dope. He's like, okay. He, I think he's just really into his catnip right now. One more step. Good boy. 
At yeah. least he knows how to get down. Yep, he's 100% into the catnip. We should not have put the catnip, because now he's interested in that. All right, Muta, do you like your setup? Do you like it? Does he like it? I hope he liked it. I'm hoping that he uses it, because it's like when you buy them a cat bed, and they don't even use it, they just like sleep on the couch or something. Mm -hmm. He's up there. He likes it. It's his escape from these guys, because these guys can be crackheads. Good cat. <laughs> well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We definitely had a lot of fun doing it. It was very enjoyable. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So let us know if you would ever want to be interested in seeing an iguana enclosure redo. Mm. <laughs> also, if you give this video 100 likes, we will do a Q&A while flying in an airplane. I'll be the fun flying it too. That so sounds kind of scary. You guys will want to see that. Well, we hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you later. Bye! He's sleeping on it. Oh my gosh, so cute.